As that American Ebola victim prepares to land on U.S. soil, we want to take you inside the plane, carrying the patient out of Africa en route to Atlanta for treatment. Yeah, this is called an aeromedical biological containment system. An isolation pod is really what it is. A portable airtight tent-like device that can house a sick patient along with medical personnel on a modified Gulfstream plane. Taking extraordinary precautions. And ABC's Dr. Rich Besser, who has reported extensively from the Ebola hot zone overseas, is right there at the hospital in Atlanta where the victims will be treated. Rich, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. When I worked at CDC, I was involved in the development of those special pods. They were designed to be able to transport safely a disease detective infected with the most deadly germs from anywhere in the world. Jetting away from Liberia, where Ebola is deemed out of control, one of two missionaries, either Nancy Wrightbowl or Dr. Kent Brantley, is on their way back to America today. They're being airlifted, one at a time, in a specially designed Gulfstream jet, enclosed in an isolation tent like this, protecting the crew from the deadly virus. It's more than 5,000 miles from Liberia to the United States. They're going to land in a secure area at Dobbins Air Force Base here in Georgia, then transfer to nearby Emory University Hospital one of just four top-level biocontainment units in the country. We've run through these processes before. We've run through these drills before. The process will work. Their secure unit is similar to this one at the University of Nebraska. This video is a drill to show how this biocontainment unit can transport a patient in a tented gurney called an isopod. You can examine them by using these gloves. The missionary workers will be treated in this isolation room at Emory. Each patient will be tended by two specially trained nurses and four infectious disease experts, all wearing full-body biosuits. Not one inch of skin exposed to the bodily fluids that spread the virus. Our intent is to keep this contained and to maintain the safety of both the patients at this hospital as well as the general public. One of the patients, Dr. Brantley, has been in Liberia since October and talked to his family on Friday. I know he was feeling a little bit better and um, I'm worried about him. Yeah, I am. but. He'll be okay regardless. And while the focus here in Atlanta is on the arrival of those patients, the world's attention is on the resources and efforts that are going to be needed to stop that virus in West Africa.